fighter getting ready to meet Floyd Mayweather in May almost KO'd the entire fight. WBC welterweight champion Robert Guerrero was checking his luggage at New York's Kennedy Airport when he informed the crew that he had an unloaded gun in his possession. He was immediately arrested and then later arraigned on charges of criminal possession of a firearm and released on his own recognizance. He's due back in court on May 14th, so he'll fight with Floyd Mayweather on May 4th. We'll go on as scheduled. Actions have a lot of power. When people see what you do and how you act, it influences them. In a situation like this, you know, it makes you take two steps back and look at everything. Robert did everything he could with his best knowledge of the law, and we feel the DA is, are very good people, and, and we feel something uh, positive will, will, will come out of that. I got to put this behind me and come out here and focus on what I have to do fight night. It's training camp time now. With the fight rapidly approaching and his name making national news, Robert Guerrero has come to the mecca of distractions to sharpen his focus and silence all doubt. You know, flying into Vegas, uh, all that's going through my mind is, hey, it's time to get back to work. Everything I said, it's time to back it up. It's time to go out there and get the job done. Viva Las Vegas. Back to our second home right here. It's only home when my wife's around. Yeah. What happened in New York City, that's what we call a humbling situation. That's a humbling situation right there. When I got locked up and I was doing time in a hole, I don't wish that on my worst enemy. Serving time is not cool to me. Losing your freedom is not cool to me. Freedom is basically everything. It's 1 a.m., I'm going for my third workout. Do I want to go to the gym? Uh, absolutely not. I'd rather, you know, lay in my house and sit in the movie theater and watch movies. But, you know, to be the best, you got to work overtime. To be the best, you got to work overtime. Let's go ahead and get this workout in. Lights out, party's over. Late night fitness, baby. <clears throat> you know, I'm in my 17th year right now. My main focus is giving this sport 30 months of hard work and dedication and be the best that I can be. I want to play basketball. Make it look easy. Every day is not going to be a sunny day. Only thing I can do is hope for the best. I'm not the same Floyd Mayweather from a year ago. You know, we live and we learn. Would I be off today? No, just give me the, uh, give me the, the three ones, give me the three chocolates and praise with extra everything. I, I, I feel like I'm free and I'm blessed to be in this situation. You can't put a price on freedom. Gotta eat hearty. Floyd Mayweather's day often Dirty. ends as the next one begins. Across town, the Guerrero camp is just clocking in setting off on an early morning road trip to the highest peak in the Las Vegas area. Well, everybody talks about it in Vegas, Mount Charleston. It's the best place to run. With the elevation here and the dry weather, we're able to just come here and train. To me and my son, it's like, we have fun doing this, you know? It's so peaceful. Being out there, you know, out of the city, hitting the countryside, just being isolated and secluded away out there, you know, starts to remind you of being back home. How long were you willing to go?
before you reach all your selfish goals. Punchline after punchline, leaving us so. I know a lot of people don't like to run mountains, run hills, and, and, and grind it out, but you know, I look forward to those type of things, uh, just trucking through those mountains, pushing yourself to the limits. It's one of the greatest feelings in the world. Dude, the elevation's a killer here. Next week it'll be 11,000, and then we'll come back down to Vegas at 3,000 and climb over Floyd Mayweather. It takes more than mountain air to prepare for this kind of combat. Guerrero's true metal will be shaped and hardened within the razor wire sanctuary of the Pound for Pound Boxing Club. Presided over by its owner and friend of the Guerrero clan, Richard Barrientes. We chose my friend's gym right here, Pound for Pound, because this one reminds me of my gym. Not the too fancy, you know what I mean? And uh, oh, this is the kind of gyms I like, small little gym. We come to do our training and uh, come to be focused and we're excited. You know? Oh, that's gonna be perfect. You have man. practice. Good. Yeah, good timing. <laughs> good. The new stage of training is we gotta step it up. Time to focus in and zero in on what we gotta do. It's so quick, so lightning fast. So the people in the gym, they go, man, where's this guy at? Where's this guy at? We can't see him. He's, he moves so fast, and so he's like a ghost. So that was the nickname, the ghost. They called him the ghost from there on, so it stayed with him. Pick it up, pick it up. All right on target. Good, nice hook. Guerrero's greatest skill may be defying expectations. Never more evident than in his last fight when many expected him to be outclassed and overpowered by Andre Berto. You know, getting in there with Berto, everybody looked at me like I was crazy. Coming up to 147 pounds, jumping two weight classes. It was one of those fights where it's like, hey, you know, all the odds are against you. Those are the kind of things I do, you know. I look for the best. The ghost came out charging, muscling his seemingly bigger opponent and controlling the fight. Robert could have knocked him out, but Robert goes, no, I'm gonna punch him for 12 rounds, and that's what he did. The decision, a unanimous victory. Mayweather, he better be ready, because you know what? He's gonna get it worse. Now, father and son find themselves in familiar territory, ready to defy expectations as they prepare to take on the pound for pound king. I know it's fight night, I'll be ready to go. I'm hungry, I'm dedicated to what I do. Floyd's a great fighter, but it's my time now. I'm younger, faster, stronger, very elusive in the ring. We finish him, or if we don't, you know, he's gonna take a beating throughout the whole fight. Break him down, put that pressure, and just really put it on him. We ain't here to have fun. We ain't here to enjoy ourselves. We're here to do a job. Today, Floyd Mayweather's job takes him out of the gym and across the country to promote the May 4th fight. But like everything in his life, even a media appearance rises to a whole different level. We talking about it, just a regular Floyd Mayweather day. I wake up, we may shop, we may get on a private jet, we may be in New York, we may be in Miami. We just don't know. You know our car, is, is, the, is the jet ready? Say it's ready. We get on a plane, and I tell them, just go. We just shopping right, can you hear me? We just shopping right now. I don't know what's going on, I'm going to get this one. I'm going to I'm going to reach in that bag, that bag stack. I need that bag stack. You know, having fun on a, on a daily, that's what it's about. You know, we have to live, we have to laugh, we have to love one another. We're on the road to the final four. DJ hey, style, private jet style. As a boxer, Mayweather gives up nothing. As a man, he is openly generous. 
heading to the Final Four on a scheduled promotional visit. Floyd takes the opportunity to share in the moment, bringing the money team with them to Atlanta. G money, G money, G money, G money. Who did get a ticket? Who did get a ticket? Pistol, you got one? Okay. Baby, hold on, I gotta make sure all my people got tickets. I truly believe in everybody should be comfortable that's around me. I believe in comfort. How are you, man? You have a nice ride in? Long ride. I'm cool, I was sleeping. Like this yeah, 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 battle yeah. to describe a basketball game. We are now joined by a man who knows what a battle is, and that's boxing great Floyd Mayweather. Charles said he can't wait to get hold of you in here. Well, from one brother to another, can I have one of your cufflinks? <laughs> <laughs> Just one of them. I don't even want both of them. He's he's not the money team for nothing. Oh I just want one of them. Not, is that oh. the definition of bling? <laughs> Hard work and dedication. Hard work and dedication. Floyd, we thank you so much for stopping thank you, by. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate, appreciate you guys. Whether training or playing, Mayweather goes hard into the night. This evening, an Atlanta Waffle House is the venue for the money team to unwind. Waffle House, baby. One and only. ATL. Let's get it. The money team has nothing to do with money. It's the way you live. It's the way you feel. Even if you're a thousandaire, you feel like a millionaire. You're with the money team. If you're a millionaire that feel like a billionaire, you're with the money team. You tell me, give me all these money. Give me all they check. Give me all they check. And make sure I get they check too. If you don't have no money at all, but you're rich at heart, you're with the money team. Y'all record me while I'm half asleep, y'all. All access, y'all. Record me while I'm half asleep. Y'all doing this to me? I got my eye on you. Just one, as you can see. Because the other one got to sleep while it one open. I sleep with one eye open. This is my first Final Four I ever been to. It was cool. I'm kind of tired, so it's all access, so you got to give it to your fans. Even when you're tired, God bless America. <laughs> the mural covered walls of the IBA boxing gym, where Guerrero will split his training time in Vegas. Celebrate the great fighters who have trained there. Today, another portrait is added. And a lot of guys come in and say, hey, when can I get up there? Well, I mean, you can't get up there unless you're a world champion and you've trained here. I think it shows his personality. He's showing you he's a boxer, he's a champion, and he's ready to get to business. My picture's gonna go up there. Best trainer in the world going up there. You know, you hit different places, time goes by quicker. I like the ring in this gym for sparring, because I know Floyd's going to bring a big ring, and he's going to run like a chicken with no head, so we got to spar in a big ring. Got my little warm-ups here, man. Mayweather's a, a great fighter, but he talks all big. The word was out there that he was in uh, protected custody. You're in there with the snitches. When you're in there like that, man, you know, come on. You're not being a man. I've been in jail for a couple of fights I had. I beat up guys. And I do my time like a real man. You're not gonna cry for 30 days of jail, you know. That's baby nuts. You know, you gotta let your balls hang and don't cry about it. Be a man, a real man. Do the time. Don't cry to the judge. Sometimes when two boxers prepare to face each other, the animosity gets so thick, fathers feel the need to step in. Roy Sr., he ran his mouth, talking a lot of smack, you know. You tell him, we'll take a little walk and we'll handle it, like real men. Instead of all the cheap talking, we'll do it on the parking lot by ourselves. Do I look nervous? I hope not. 
I call this target practice. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm utterly surprised at how fast he is. Oh, that's nothing, dude. Wait until later on. And then, ya cuando ya lo bajamos el peso, then lo rápido vamos a tomar. He's all talk, man. No show, no go. I'm go. He's all talk. It's a joke to me, really. Him talking about how he gonna whoop me and he lifting weights and doing one-arm push-ups and this ain't about no one-arm push-up. This ain't about lifting weights. This is about how smart you are. And you ain't smart if you talking about fighting with Floyd, Joy, Mayweather Sr. That you don't want. You're not smart at all. You're dumb. You can't get whiskey from a bottle of wine And you can't strike gold in a silver mine I'm the best in the north, south, east, and west For all the rest, there's no contest I must confess Summertime, I'm thinking about the winter. When you thinking about breakfast, I'm heating up my dinner. I was plotting this moment back when y'all was riding spinners. Now yeah, I'm a menace. Who that? Who that? I got that flame. Who that? Who that? I got that flame. So don't worry about, don't worry about my name. I got a flame. Who that? Who that? Cold word. Who that? Who that? I got a flame. Who that? Who that? Cold word. Who that? Who that? I'ma always work hard, but as you get older, you have to work. Smart. Hey, hey, that boy's sick now. He's on his joystick, heating up like me. When the dog I'm on that Floyd, well, now who else wanna fuck with Hollywood code? The little engine that could, this little is good. Rappers claiming I strive to be a perfectionist every day. I work hard at it. No one is perfect. But one thing I can say, I always find a way to win. I always find a way to win. Because I was born a winner, I'm a die a winner. My son is no longer 26, he's 36. And that's where the big difference come in. That's it. Practice that right hand and left hook. Pop, pop. There you go, that's what we want, baby. When you're older, you wear and tear on your body. I told him, it ain't about using your body. Nice. Training for eight hours, man. Come on, man. You really work good today, man. When you do it 10 minutes on the back, man, you go take a shower, man. I'm telling you. Exercise? Like sit-ups? Man, you ain't do nothing today, man. You good, man. I'm telling you. OK. He needs to okay. be using more of his mind now. Man, you look, you look damn good today. I'm getting better. I'm telling you, man, just let me get better. Believe me. Ruben Guerrero's day doesn't end when the team leaves the gym. Head trainer becomes head chef as Ruben fires up a healthy, home-cooked meal for his son. He trains very hard, so he's got to have his dinners in time. That's the key of boxing, man. You got to eat right. Under the watchful eye of his father, this is Guerrero's third fight at 147 pounds. Now, he's a full-fledged waterweight. He's comfortable at this weight. He's going to hit harder, more powerful. Every time I moved up in weight, people thought, you know, he's not going to be the same. He's moving up. He came from 122 pounds. And every time I've gone up in weight, I've proved them wrong. Dear Lord, thank you for this food that Ruben prepared for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Dig in. It's nice having the big house for the whole team to be comfortable. 
your team having everything right, you know, meals, running, training, everything's on time. That's why we come out to camp, to eliminate as many distractions as we can. Next couple of weeks, we're gonna turn it up. We're gonna be eating steaks this big. Once he starts training more, more running does, more training, the more he's gotta eat. Thanks for dinner, it was good. You're welcome, son. Good night. I'm going upstairs. All right, well, see you tomorrow, champ. One of my biggest driving forces is my children and my wife. You know, you miss them every day. You know, I talk to them, but I mean, it's not the same when you get to hug them and kiss them and, you know, put them to bed. It's tough. It's tough. You don't want to leave, but you know you got to. You got a job to do. You got to take care of business. They're relying on you to go work hard, to go train hard, and make sure everything is, is right. This place is ridiculous, Casey. Dude. Let's put it this way. The bedroom that I'm staying in is freaking huge. Training camps are like the probably the most difficult because you know you have to leave your family. Now like it's more intense because this is a huge fight. Sometimes I tell him, why did you pick this career? <laughs> and he's like, I didn't pick this career, this career picked me. But I mean he's been doing it his whole life, so. This is what he wants to do. This fight is important because he's been wanting this his whole life. Robert always told me I want to be a champion in multi-weight classes. This is this was has been my dream since I was a little boy and he wants to be champion and I believe that he's going to be champion. He's going to win this fight. All right. Well, I'll talk to you in the morning. See how your arms doing and stuff. Good night. down and stay focused, fighters often leave their families behind during training camp. Floyd Mayweather, however, sees a visit from his children, Karan, Ayana, Zion, and Jaira as a welcome distraction. So the best part of coming to Vegas is hanging out with my dad and spending time with him. <laughs> Three of his four children live in California, so any opportunity for all of them to spend time together is cherished. I miss him though, since he can spend my um, most of the summer with me. When I got incarcerated, it was, you know, summertime, so my kids wasn't in school at that, at, at that time. I miss my kids dearly. Can you flip? Can you flip? Watch out, let it flip. Let it flip. <laughs> wow. Oh, you go. No, see you, Daddy. <laughs> My <laughs> Raised in a gym, although the tools of boxing may surround you, the intangibles of greatness must be passed down in your blood. For Mayweather and Guerrero, the resolve to rise and fight Courses freely through their souls. And on May 4th, each will stalk the other with confidence, backed by the families that raised them and the men who first laced their gloves. All three family members in the corner, it's gonna be a hard night for Correa. He got three men he messing with. I think they have a little regret taking it. That's why they're talking a lot of smack. That's why he's got his dad in the corner now. That's why he's got two guys, him and his uncle, together now against me, because they know what's coming. Guerrero's coming at him. 
43 had a game plan. We're gonna keep pressure on Mayweather. It's not gonna work. The game plan is just coming in and get your payday. Dumbass. Every time I fight somebody, it's been the worst beating of their life. It's just the way I roll. We're Guerreros. Guerrero stands for warrior. And that's what we are, warriors. Rock Guerrero. He's fighting a man that's faster than him, slicker than him, smarter than him. He'll get his ass to up. When it's all said and done, May 4th, I'm winning. He's gonna earn his money. Rumble, baby, let's rumble. Pick it up, pick it up. Cut that ring, baby. Yeah, yeah, good work. It is personal. We're gonna hurt this guy. So he better be prepared. On the next All Access, Mayweather versus Guerrero. Come fight night, I'm always able to expose any fighter's weakness. When people watch this fight, they're gonna be shocked. He's a flat-footed fighter. No leg movement, straight up and down, no special effects. I'm younger, faster, stronger. It's time to take over boxing. Out with the old, in with the new. I'm the Ghostbuster. All access Mayweather versus Guerrero, Wednesdays at 10. Don't miss Mayweather versus Guerrero, Saturday, May 4th, live on Showtime Pay-Per-View.